So I just picked up this guy. I ordered it off Amazon when I saw people were getting it. I'd originally ordered two through Entertainment Earth, but went ahead and canceled them. These play sets so often go on clearance that I'm like, do I want to get a second one? Yes, but do I want to pay full price for it, especially at 60 bucks? No. So I have one here today, um, which is odd. Most of these play sets, I think I've bought two at a time. So let's go ahead and open this up and check out this new bunker. First thing up is our carded figure here, which is just called Endor Rebel Commander uh, Scout and Scout Trooper Disguise. Nice picture there. Whether you want to call him Captain Rex, Nick Sant, or whatever. Now, of course, we've gotten him before. I'm going to compare him to the original here. I'm not going to open him for now. Notice we get an unpunched card for those people who like those sorts of things. And the back of our card shows uh, several upcoming figures that we haven't gotten there, like Admiral Piet and Hunter on there that we don't have yet. So it's kind of nice to see a few new figures coming up. So right away, taking this out of the box, there's a lot of, like, Little things I'm seeing, like little details. You can see a little greenery at the bottom of some of these. Um, more detail on the top of this than we had the Power of the Force 2 one. I'll compare it to that a little bit later. Like even like panel details and stuff like that. And on these doors, like they look like, like look at how they kind of did the molding for the metal there. It looks pretty darn cool on the latch. Some nice detail on this, far more, far better than the original. We'll compare it to it later, though. So I gotta say, I was not as excited about this when Hasbro announced it. I've had the power of the Force 2 one for years, but getting it together, I mean, first of all, this thing's way, way, way sturdier than the original. The original, you looked at it cross-eyed and it would fall apart. Actually, I think if you looked at it straight, it would fall apart. It's got a lot of great details. It fits together so well. And then, like, I was looking at the instructions and there's little, little details I didn't know, like, you have a little door. Let's see if I can get in there so that you can see this. It's a little door right here, and you can open up. There's little details right there. And there's also this little panel. I don't know if that's for R2 or what, but you can slide that open too. So it's got nice little details in there. I had no idea existed. Look at it from the back. It's just kind of a, a basic thing but it's got little handles so you can slide the doors they actually when you push them together they they fit together and they stay there like i can do this and they're not going to just fall out so you can make those doors open and shut <clears throat> so that's some of the cool stuff about this and you know when we look around it get back to there okay you can see that, you know, it looks really nice, but it is just a background for the most part. And a lot of the most recent play sets, they haven't been more of a background. In fact, a lot of them have been made so that you could buy multiples and you could make a bigger uh, play set out of it. And I don't know if that's really going to work here. I don't see. I mean, I guess you could put two together and have like a little bit that doesn't even make sense. But in the, at the same time, it looks so much better than the original. Um, but I feel like I'm just going to have to go grab that so we can really compare it. So here's our original one. You can see it's a little more squared off. Um, you can see how much smaller it is. In fact, angle-wise, it almost like fits, almost. You can see a lot of differences, detail differences and everything. I mean, just look at these things on the top of it as opposed to over here. Like how much more detail we get in there. And you can look at the doors. I mean, this was a cool set for... Mm -hmm. Well, kind of cool set. For what we got back in, was it, 97? We'd never had a shield bunker set. 97, 98, somewhere in there. I've actually had to glue mine to keep those doors in. I think there's a lot of other pieces glued because this thing fell apart so easy. Yeah, I actually see glue in there to keep it uh, together. Um, I liked getting a bunker set, but, you know, and it's looked okay in my diorama, but, gosh, this does look a lot better. So... You know what? As much as I was like, really? That's what we're getting? This is really cool. I do like this. It is a lot better than this. Um, and I'm just seeing so many cool details. It just looks better. It looks more accurate. So I'm actually even more excited about this. It's always exciting to get a new toy. But um, this is it's pretty cool. I do like the added greenery on the top and everything. It's going to be fun to add this into my diorama. I'll have some pictures of that at the end. Though. I was pretty certain these would not be the right same figure. In fact... And get it. You can see the heads are very different. He has kind of a pin head to fit in his Scout Trooper helmet, where he's got a much, this new one's got a bigger head. Probably a lot of reuse of the uh, body parts. 
um, cause they haven't really fully updated the scout trooper, although it looks like the, he has new ankles at least, um, on the new one. I don't know. It's hard to, I know, I know that chest plate is different. I can look at those two and see that there's a difference there. Um, so, I mean, it may be a completely all new figure. There's enough differences in there that I'm seeing. Although I think those arms are the same. I, just the fact that the, the hands have the same uh, same look to them. But, I mean, mostly it looks like the same figure. And the helmet, yeah, the original it came with this looks a little bit smaller. So that looks like a new helmet, too. So, um, I mean, that's kind of looking at Nick Sant, though. It's pretty cool to to get him as a carded figure. So there's something we never had. So, uh, not Nick Sant. Sorry, Endor, Rebel, Commando, and Scout Trooper disguise. So in the end, it looks pretty cool in here. It uh, fit right in with what I was doing. I've got like all the troops out here. I have Chewbacca back here in the ATST, all sorts of stuff going on. So I've been able to add everything back to it and put all that in. It's pretty nice. Now I got to figure out a place to put the old bunker because I like to keep everything on display. But I don't know where that's going to go because there's not a lot of room in my Endor diorama.